Hi and welcome back to Connecting Comics. So I just wanted to do a real quick video and, and share some really cool stuff that I found. So, comics are awesome. Comics are life. I know, that's what we're all thinking. But there are stories as well. For that time period, the, the things that they digested, they had no TV. So your, your middle of World War, uh, many of these during World War II, and you're looking for entertainment. You're looking for something to read. You can either listen to it on a radio once a day or once during the week. Read about it. Comics were great. Nine out of ten people during that time frame read comic books. They're absolutely amazing. The stories are great. And it's the TV of the day. So what else do we have? These Really picked up my attention. They hit a local store. I guess they must have gotten them out of a, uh, a storage unit. What raised my attention initially? Buy war bonds. So, some pretty freaking awesome covers, too. When you read some of the information in the back as well, man, the way they just tore into people is kind of funny to read. Plant yourself a victory garden. It's how you can help the uh, the war effort. Mystery fans. I know one of these I found there was, there you go, V for victory. Buy United States war bonds. So, I mean, these are just absolutely amazing. 1944. When was 1943? The covers, the covers actually, they totally speak for themselves. So you have multiple issues. And they just keep getting better. <laughs> Cupid's Course Paradise. It's, man. And I was reading through one of these earlier. And in the back, in the section where they were talking about the guy, he was actually... One of them was basically saying how uh, uh, one of the writers was just a total hack and just needed to quit his job and, and go do some medial work. It was, uh, they were very cordial in their response, I will say that. But it, you don't run across this kind of stuff very often. There, there's a few like these up on uh, on Evil Bay, but... Dude, totally. If you catch something like this, you should... Totally going. Just just pick it up. Read them. I mean, this is... Some of these adapted and became comic books. I think everybody will recognize that little lady there. Man, that gentleman. The Shadow. The Shadow knows. So, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, that, for 1943, is in amazing condition. Then you have Savage, your mystery. Yeah, these are... Uh, I think this is the one where he was ripping them apart. But <laughs> These are... They're freaking awesome. They really are. Uh, I mean, if you want to read a story about life back then, pick one of these up and read. If anything, take you back to sort of the mentality, what they thought and how they felt and... How they entertain themselves during times of war. So, all right, check it out and let me know what you think down in the comments. Hey, this is is this stuff that you're interested in too? Is this something that you wouldn't mind reading? Because I think this is something. It's history. It's history. You can't go wrong. I mean, really, the end of it all. It's freaking awesome. All right, guys, thanks for coming along. Uh, real quick video, and I'll catch you on the next one.